All right, well, while we're on the subject of artificial intelligence, parents beware. Because as we know, AI can create images, sound, video that's so realistic, it's hard to tell what's real from what's fake. AI generated nude photos were circulated around a New Jersey high school using faces of young female students. Now, you can only imagine how emotionally shattering this would be to girls who were victimized by these sorts of deep fakes. We're told that this happened to dozens of girls, including my next guest. 14-year-old Francesca Mani, she alerted the principal after she found out that one of the nudes was using her face. She's also with her mom, Dorota Mani. Francesca, first of all, thank you so much for telling your story. How did you find out about this? So basically, the principal um, informed me that I was one of many AI victims. And after that, I just felt like betrayed because I never thought I'd be my classmate. And when I came home, I told my mom and I said, we need to do something about this because it's not okay. And people are making it seem like it is. Well, how did it make you feel? I mean, did you actually see the images or you just heard about them? No, I didn't get to see them. It made me feel very betrayed and I just felt very uncomfortable knowing that he was walking like the hallways of my school and I just don't think it's okay. Uh, Dorota, um, do you know if any of these images stayed local of your daughter, so to speak, or did, did you ask the school principal if the images made it anywhere else online to the extent that they could track them? Right, well, very good question. <laughs> As per the email that uh, the principal sent out, the images are gone. As per the conversation that I had over the phone with the vice principal, the images are gone and I should not worry because it was just a Snapchat. It was distributed through Snapchat. Um, so you know, I know uh, there is such a thing as digital footprint that lasts forever. Um, and even though there have been distributed through Snapchat, they are somewhere out there. So we are fighting right now to figure it out um, where and how to retrieve them. And through this whole process, we've been so disappointed in the way that Westfield High School has been handling this uh, situation for all the girls. Well, yeah, so we haven't confirmed how many people this actually happened to or how many people, we don't know how many people saw these images. No. I presume you don't either. Uh, but it sounds like you're thinking of filing a lawsuit. If you know, as a former lawyer, it kind of sounds like that's where this is headed. Um, how can the school actually control, or why would you say it controlled, the Snapchat accounts of students? Right, that's the school their approach. does not. Correct. Right, that's their approach. They believe uh, that you know I didn't do it. It was not on my device. It was not on my premises. But, but as per the um, cyber harassment policies, um, this should have not happened and there should have been consequences. So it's a little bit more than just, you know, kids sending pictures of a on the Snapchat, right? Um, there's a bigger issue here. There's a bullying, there's um, cyber harassment, and there's the administration who is pretending that nothing has happened. There's administrations that are not listening to the girls um, that have been victimized and other girls who feel this is not okay and who feel um, uh, they feel uncomfortable, they feel traumatized, they feel hurt, they feel betrayed, mm. and nobody listens to them. Yesterday, actually, let me add one thing. Francesca, you have you talked to the other... I'm, I'm sorry, Fran I'm going to ask your daughter yep. if you don't mind. Francesca, have, have you talked to a lot of the other girls or do you know their names, or your fellow students, to whom this also happened? Their, again, their faces were put on nudes that were then circulated, according to these reports, on Snapchat. Have you spoken to them? Yes, I have. They feel extremely uncomfortable knowing that he's in our school. They're also really mad that the school's not really doing anything about it and not trying to help the situation. And they're just mad that they Do you know who did it? Um, Francesca, are you aware of who did it? Or do you have a good idea of who did it? Yeah. Don't I say the name. I don't want to hear the name. But do you have a good idea of who did it? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? OK. Yeah. Well, seems like that's kind of 
where the where the liability lies. Um, Francesca uh, and uh, Dorota, any type of cyberbullying, cyberstar, any of this uh, involving students, these deep fakes, it's horrific. Thank you very much for speaking out. We really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.